Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand everything is planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Remember, those books are mandatory. Also, those who donated to the Cash Shop Patreon, much love. And then also those who are shopping at the stores, much love. Keep it coming. Now, of course, guys, I'm going to get over Bitcoin and cryptos first. Basically, right now, guys, the cryptos are looking great. Now, basically, if you look at the stable coins, all the fundamentals matched again. Of course, XRP up. Stable coins under 99.9, perfect trading, perfect hodling, everything is great. But guys, we know that we do have CME, and of course, the futures on the 27th, the last Friday. So, guys, make sure you are focused on these indicators XRP, stable coins, and volume. It's not going to treat you wrong, I'm telling you. But right now, guys, we have a lot of FOMO. So, we have a lot of real money coming in. And we know what the Fed likes to do. What? That's right. Take your money. So you do have to watch out. And I can't say this enough. Make sure you're staying focused on the indicators. But we are starting to have real use. But we see that nobody's selling. Everybody's taking their money off the exchanges and holding. Because don't nobody know what's going on. So, guys, let's make sure you're focused on the indicators. So, therefore, you know which route to take. Now, let's get over into the news, guys. We have Brad Garlinghouse, of course, talking about China again, owning the mining for BTC. But, guys, we know that's all planned out. I've been over that several times. But basically, guys, we see XRP basically taking off. Now, the fact is that if you go back to my videos, I advise exact price of where it would be at, plain and simple, at this time. So, right now, the volume is crazy. Right now, the volume of XRP is like at $13 billion. Don't forget that Ripple bought $46 million last quarter, and they continue to buy now. I think they bought like another $51 million XRP. So, guys, right now, they're probably up about $70 million right now. So, guys, we, we got to make sure that we understand the Fed, the central banks, their job is definitely to take our money. But right now, they're up, and we know that they're going to start shrinking this liquidity. So we know that this market is going to come down unless we get some amazing news that will be a catalyst to keep us up. Now, we have Coinbase custody has grown from $6 billion in April of this year to now $20 billion today. Now, guys, once we get some type of custody, which we need bad, of course, you have to take your money off the exchanges and put them in hard wallets. But we need some type of custody, guys. Hopefully it comes. Now, we have the U.S. government, which this is crazy news, guys. The U.S. government and less USDC to circumvent in Venezuela, Maduro. So, guys, remember what I teach is that you can use cryptocurrency for good or evil. Now, basically, I'm seeing this as evil, guys, plain and simple. So, just like I stated, with the peer-to-peer, -peer, the, the original uh, mindset of Bitcoin is that, hey, look, if somebody was in a bad situation over in, you know, Haiti, wherever, I can just send that money instead of having to go through Red Cross with your crooks. I can send that money right to them if they need it. That was the wonderful part. But now we see the government. Now we're seeing how they can do it. They are using, guys, the USDC the same way they use the U.S. dollar. So and nothing has changed. Remember I told y'all, this whole system, none of it's changing. They just put it on blockchain so then therefore they don't have to worry about paying any fees. Now we have Singapore is exploring wholesale CBDC. We also have this article stating that Bitcoin shortage is real and PayPal is the cause. Do I believe that, guys? No. All these people out of work, people with no money. And then on top of it, guys, the majority of people who are buying from PayPal are not educated as far as with crypto. We got to remember that this FOMO is bringing uneducated people. They didn't start from the beginning and see everything. So now they're just coming aboard. So PayPal and FOMO, guys, is definitely electrifying the markets right now. Just like I stated, guys, this is definitely real money piling in. This reminds me of 2017, and we know that the Fed stopped these lending programs. It's going to shrink liquidity, and the same thing is going to happen 
to these uneducated investors if they don't understand investments. Nothing goes straight up, nothing goes straight down. Now we have U.S. regulators want to stop banks from blacklisting legal businesses, including crypto. So guys, the fact is that if once crypto actually gets started, none of your small banks will be in business. And that's who would want to fight this. Small banks, credit unions. There's no way they can survive because there's no fees. There's no way they can make any money. These banks make money off of fees. There's no way they will be able to survive. And the big banks know that. So of course, once they take over, once the big banks take over the small banks, and then the fees are going to go through the roof. They'll find some way actually to get you. Now we have Polynex went down for a little while. Now Coinbase has not went down, but I did see a lot of people stating that they couldn't remove their money off of the exchange. So something definitely happened there. And then also guys, we have Morgan Creek and Exos filed for Bitcoin fund with SEC. And guys, when we start seeing all these funds, these funds is to loan the market or short the market. So therefore they can make money in fees. Plain and simple. It's not that it's going sky high. They make money whether it goes up or down. Let's always keep that in our mindset. And then lastly, guys, have tokenization will bring stability to the emerging markets. And guys, we know that is a fact. If China, India can airdrop these digital currencies to their people, they're going to come out of poverty into the middle class. And that's going to change the game completely. And we all know that the United States is going to take a back seat. But as long as you are in the head of the game, you know where to invest at, you'll be fine. But guys, that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher, NWO Book. Also, if you're new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance. Also, your stocks, guys. Don't forget about the stock channel. You have your Cobalt, your chip stocks, your gaming, your banking. Also, while everybody's sitting at home, you got the at-home stocks, the C-word, the biotech stocks. Don't forget about those. And then while everybody's sitting at home getting free money or waiting on that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and y'all have a wonderful day. And listen to what BlackRock Chief Investment Officer Rick Reeder said about Bitcoin earlier today on CNBC. And I think cryptocurrency is here to stay, and I think it is a durable, and you've seen the central banks that have talked about digital currencies. I think digital currency and the receptivity, particularly millennials' receptivity of, uh, of technology and cryptocurrency is real. Digital payment systems is real. So I think Bitcoin is here to stay. Do I think it's a durable mechanism that, that you know, do I think will take the place of gold to a large extent? Yeah, I do, because it's so much more functional than, uh, than passing a bar of gold around. Wow. So BlackRock is saying Bitcoin could replace gold one day.